Have you ever felt powerless and unsure about your future plans? Remember, a life without a purpose is like hard work without results. Get inspired in today's message by William Ngabo. Hi everyone. Hi, it's another beautiful day. It's another moment of joy. And uh, like I tell you every time I speak to your heart, I love to tell you that every time you wake up in the morning and your name is not in the obituary column in the newspaper, then it's another great joy to say God be praised. Hallelujah. Today I have a, a message which is completely different to the messages I share with you many times. It's a, a message that is kind of in the church setup. <laughs> you know, it's a, a message that I picked from Luke chapter 19, verse 11 to 14. Let's go to the, together into the Word of God. I'm reading from NIV translation. Now on his way to Jerusalem, this is Jesus. Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and the Galilee. As he was going to a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Every verse in this portion of scripture is very important. Verse 14 says, When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. As they went, they were cleansed. Today I have a message for you, which I'm tagging to a message title, Healing in Obedience. In other words, through obeying God, healing comes as your next portion. The glory to God. And so, we love to, to be with friends, we love to walk with different people, and sometimes uh, when you feel sick, you go to the hospital because you have that confidence that once you go to the hospital, the first person to you meet who happens to be a nurse will ask you questions how do you feel maybe take your body temperature uh, you know maybe take go and weigh you to see how many kgs you weigh after that the next person you meet is a doctor and most of the time we put our confidence in doctors because doctors are qualified people who are actually find out what our problems may be and uh, doctors are so anointed and given uh, the kind of education they have to treat people and no wonder we put our confidence and trust in them which is very good because doctors are special people that God gave us so that they can treat us when we are sick they can give us counsel when we need physical counsel or whatever they are so special people but sometimes uh, believers fail to put their trust in God as well. We don't sometimes uh, consider the Word of God to be true. We can read it and enjoy the way it, uh, it sounds. And sometimes when we go to church, we even worship God, we dance, we, you know, we, we, we have to do different things in church. But when it comes to actual scriptures, we tend to see scriptures the way we see other writings and uh, no wonder miracles don't happen no wonder miracles don't happen today because we don't give value to scriptures the way they should sometimes we don't uh, we don't put much interest in the scriptures the way they are written and the message they portray and we miss a point there, we miss a benefit there, we miss a blessing there. 
So when Jesus was walking, he saw ten lepers. They were ten together, they were walking together, and they were not supposed to be with people, they were not supposed to stay with in the, in the, within their community. They, were, they had to be away from the general population. They, they were outcast. They were staying together. But they also needed healing like most of us do. And when they saw Jesus from a distance, they called him aloud and said, Master, please heal us. And Jesus, who had all the capacity to tell them you are healed right away, he never did that. He rather said, go and see the priests. Go. Because the reason why God made that, the reason why Jesus made that statement, he wanted them to have a heart of obedience. Because once you have a heart of obedience, once you obey the scriptures the way they should, the way you should, once you consider the scriptures to be the true word of God, trust it and believe it, walk according to it, decide to do the way the word tells you to do, once you do that, you are in the path of righteousness. You are in a journey of obedience. So Jesus wanted the ten reapers to participate in their healing. Glory be to God. He wanted them to participate in their healing. Because Jesus had all the capacity to tell them, Go, you are healed. He had all the capacity to tell them, You know, you are healed right now, go. But he never did that. He said, Go and see your priests. Because Jesus wanted the ten reapers to be part of their healing journey. And to be part of your healing journey is through obedience. When they obeyed the voice of Jesus Christ and they decided to go back, take a journey, walk to see the priests, the Bible says, they all received their healing. So, healing is not possible where there is disobedience. Obedience is the master key that brings us closer to the grace of God. Obedience is the master key that connects us to the healing manifestation of God's word. You know, the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. And another portion of scripture, the Bible says in 1 Peter, I think, uh, chapter 2, verse 24, by his stripes we were healed. So our healing happened a long time ago. Many times we make mistakes of asking for healing. God, please heal me. You know, we are asking for something we already have. We were healed a long time ago. In other words, you were healed be before you became sick. What you need to ask God for is your healing manifestation. Because the healing was already granted. But healing manifestation will come your way when you take an opportunity to obey the word of God. Because the, the word of God commands you to obey. The ten lepers had to obey the voice of Jesus to go and see the priest. Because when you participate in your healing journey, then healing manifestation will come your way. I don't know if I'm telling someone. You've been waiting for healing manifestation to come your way for a long time. Because the way you pray, the way you trust God for healing, may not necessarily be in conformity to the Word of God. The word of God tells you, the word of God tells me, by his stripes you were healed. In other words, you became sick even when you are healed. You were healed before you became sick. So what you are looking for right now is not healing. What you are looking for is healing manifestation. Come on everybody. You are expecting God to approve healing manifestation over your life, but it takes the heart of obedience. You have to obey scriptures. There are do's and don'ts in the Bible. If you do the do's in the Bible, then healing manifestation will come your way. 
But if you do the don'ts in the Bible, healing manifestation will be separated from you. Obedience is the master key that connects us not only to the grace of God, but it also connects us to our healing. Because faith alone is not enough if it is not backed up by obedience. It's like giving. When you give to the church, some people say, ah, oh, we are giving to those pastors, you know, so that they can, you know, can be, they can have plenty of food, they can have money, yet for us we are poor. Because if you stay like that, wondering where your tithe goes, wondering where your giving goes, how the money is going to be used, you, you, are, you are giving to God, but you still want accountability from God, you are not in obedience. Obedience is to believe scriptures the way they are. Give to the house of God. Don't question how the money is going to be utilized. Tithe to the house of God. That's faith in action. But once you start questioning, once you start wondering, you are doing the don'ts, not the do's in the Bible. In other words, you are outside obedience, you are inside the disobedience, trying to judge every step of your giving. And God cannot manifest in your life just like that. So in the same way, healing is a process, and healing is a journey. You have to make a stride to the front, trust in God for more, believe in God for a miracle, you know? Don't always question yourself. Don't always wonder what God can do. Just believe what God is able to do based on scriptures. Take scriptures to be as true as they are. Don't add certain, you know, things in the scriptures. Don't try to imagine what God can do. Don't try to pretend to, you know, don't imagine the unimaginable. Just believe God, just as the scriptures are. Obey. And then in your journey of obedience, healing manifestation will be on your way. When Jesus spoke to the ten lepers, they obeyed him. And after obeying him, they took a journey. And this journey became a successful journey because along their walking, probably when they made the first five steps, nothing had changed on them. Probably after, after taking 10 steps or 15 steps, nothing had happened to them. But they kept on walking. They kept on taking a step to the floor in obedience to the voice of Jesus Christ. The more they made steps to the front towards the visiting of the priest, that's when their healing manifestation came to pass. Are you in a journey of faith? Are you trusting God for more? There is a role you have to pray. There is a path you have to pray so that your healing manifestation may come to pass. There is a path you have to take. There is a journey you have to make. There are those steps you have to make to the front, even when you feel it's not easy, but just believe. Just believe scriptures the way God put them. The Bible says, whosoever shall trust in God will never be put to shame. Once you trust God like no other, miracle signs and wonders will take place around you and in you. And then you become like that plant that is planted by the streams of water, which is evergreen all the time, 24 hours, 7 days a week, January to December. Why? Because obedience is a journey. And obedience is a door that opens for you. Obedience is like that master key that opens grace, that opens favor, that opens miracles, that opens healing manifestation over your life. Never blame God for things that happen to you. Blame yourself for either your failure to obey or your failure to walk in obedience. I want to tell you this, God loves you. In this life journey, 
you can't trust people and exclude God. You rather trust people at a certain level but put your confidence and greater trust in God. Because listen, God is in charge of everything you have. God is in charge of your heartbeat. Every heartbeat beats in the heart of God. Every flow of your blood flows in the heart of God. Every moment of your existence, you are not outside the will of God. You are not outside the presence of God. You are like a jewel. You are like a beautiful flower. You are like that pillar that makes the house stand tall. God gives you much value that your siblings have never. Because God understands you much more than you even understand yourself. God understands you much more than your identical twin does. He's so loving and so kind. And so, in this journey called life, always make a step towards the front without leaving God behind. In other words, take a journey with God. Every voice that comes your way from God is pushing you always to go forward, not to go backward. You want healing in your body? You want healing manifestation to take place in your life? You have to trust God in every step of your journey. Take a walk. Listen to the voice of God. Do as it tells you. That journey called faith is a journey that will connect you closer like to God like never before. The reason why it's a narrow gate to go to heaven because that journey is so hard that only hard people who have the heart of God will take that path of righteousness and you are part of that because distractions around you are so many that pulls you instead of pushing you forward but if you allow the voice of God to push you to the front then you go forth if you allow the voice of God to push you towards your journey of healing manifestation then go because let me tell you this your healing journey is in a process and you are part of that journey of your healing manifestation. Have a great day. And please remember, life is full of many options. Choose life today. God bless you.